Okay, what I have here is some dried but re-wet cattail leaves. Okay, so you need at least 20 of them for this project. And uh, I'm going to actually use a non-primitive tool, which is a pair of scissors, to kind of uh, even everything up. But essentially, you, you harvest your cattail leaves, and then you, you, you know, let, allow them to dry, put them in the garage or attic or, or wherever you choose to hang, let them, let them dry. Um, these have been drying in, in the yard for a while here, so they're, they're going to be good and, and ready to uh, be made into a cattail visor. The thing about dry, uh, the thing about cattails is when you try to use them wet or fresh or green, they tend to um, shrink once you weave them together so that you'll have gaps or holes in, in your uh, finished uh, project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select about 20 of these and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to I'm going to show you how to we're going to I'm going to show you how to weave a cattail buyer. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these. Okay, first step, I'll set these aside. Mm -hmm. First step, I'm going to take one leaf, cattail leaf that's been dried. And the thing about drying them is if you don't dry them. Again, like I said, if they're green, they'll make space on you. Um, and then if the, once they're dried, you do have to reconstitute them a little bit, make them wet so that, that you can work with them and they don't shatter, they don't break or split on you, all right? So what we do here is I'm just going to go ahead and put a bend in it. And I want it about middle, okay? Just like so. Make a middle, middle split like that, okay? So this is two halves, okay? And then I'm going to grab from our uh, visor pile, or our visor, visor weave, weaver pile, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to split that, split this one in half. Just like so. Okay. And we lock these together. Okay, I'm just gonna open them up and they're going to crisscross one another. Just like so. Alright, so what ends up happening or so what ends up happening is you end up having a V like so. They're locked into one another. And you go ahead and smash these down. We'll be doing a lot of padding as we go as we go through. I'm gonna take another the next one, okay? And what I want is I want 10 going going from this first one this way. So I'm gonna put in 10. Okay. So this is uh, number two. Like so. And instead of now here's the trick, okay? This one, this weaver is over okay it's over all right so I have to do the next one under and I'm going to alternate all right so I'll take this one here this weaver here and instead of being over because we want a checkerboard pattern I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slice this pull this up from here like so so now it is we're gonna lock it into place so now it's under just like this okay so we grab another one for my stockpile and I'm gonna go ahead and basically bend this in half and then this one will be over okay so this is our third one, and it will be over. Got a little bit of a wind today. That's good. I like the wind. It's not too hot, not too cold. But a little windy. Okay. So now we've got this going on here. All right. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we got one more extra. We'll take that out, and we're gonna be weaving the next way. Now, what's now what's gonna happen is that this leading one will be using or will be be single weaving. You know, the same like this one was a single weaver here that we added. This one here will be a single weaver here. Okay, on on this one. What I want to do is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna go ten this way, okay? But this is gonna be the lead here. Alright? So then I'm gonna take this this weaver here and I'm just gonna sandwich it and I'm gonna go up top let it slide down oh, actually that one that one's on top so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do it on bottom so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one here and I'm gonna go on bottom so I'm gonna grab the bottom one and slide this weaver down And there we go. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and lay that into place. All right. I'm gonna take my next one. I'm gonna go ahead and use this real thin one here. Hopefully, it'll work for us. Hopefully, it'll work for us here. So I split it. And. That was bottom. This one will be top, just like so. Okay, just like we did before. Take the next one here. Put it on the middle. This one will be bottom. All the way down, like so. Then one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Okay. So we've got ten weavers going one way, and we've got ten weavers going the other way. All right. And they are all singly overlapped. Okay. Just like this. Now, as we start to weave, we want them to be doubly overlapped. Okay. Or more like this. Okay. So again. The, on the brim, they're singly overlapped, okay? Just like so, all right? As we weave through, they will be doubly overlapped, okay? So I move this out of the way, and all I have to do is just go over, and uh, this under, actually rather, that's under, over, and then I'm gonna go under, both and over and then I was over I'm gonna go under and then this is gonna go over and this one here I'm gonna go under just like so and over And then the last one here is going to be under. Okay. And then we'll go ahead, and for weaving sake, we'll go ahead and lock them together. Just kind of push them together, push everything together. That's, that, that's, that helps lock things, lock things into place. Okay. okay. And again, like I said, this is why you work, we want to work with them wet. Because otherwise, by this time, they probably, the leaves would have, um, broken at the creases, okay, just keep working it, okay, I have my next weaver on this side, starting at the brim, that one was over, so I go to the one that's under, and slide this through, okay, and then, that one was over, now I go under, Okay, the next step is we're going to take these weavers and we're going to go 
to this in this direction, starting from the opposite side. So I'm gonna take this top weaver here and you just kind of crease it over so that it'll, it'll we'll weave them in and out, double weave them in, in and out all the way through, all the way down to the opposite side here. Okay, so we'll just take this here and that helps lock them into place. down to lock it into place. When you reach the end of the bottom, okay, next you fold this underneath and weave back up the other side. Up. And run under until you run out of weaver. So essentially, here's the finished piece tied to my head size, like so, nice cat tail visor weave together. And then just to kind of finish it up, otherwise it's kind of up like this. Just to kind of finish it up, otherwise it's kind of up like this and kind of pull all the, the uh, extra weavers down, you got a cat tail visor.